What's up everyone, Getting Investor here. I hope you are having a great day. Wanted to drop this new video. It is going to be around cryptocurrency and some of the really big news that happened in the market around crypto because the entire crypto market is crashing, but we do have a crypto that is actually outperforming the market. I wanna share why exactly it is happening and some of the future of cryptocurrency and crypto investing, which is very big deal in case you're invested on crypto, interested on crypto, so make sure you watch the video till the end. But before I do that, I just wanted to ask you guys, if you like the video at any point of time, if you like any of the points made throughout the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It will absolutely help the video to outreach the right number of people and I would really, really appreciate it. So before, without further ado, let me just deep dive into the video right away. So we can see here on Coinbase that the entire market is down today. So it is down 9%, around 10% for Bitcoin, the same amount for Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, everyone is sort of following Bitcoin. And why exactly Bitcoin? Because we all know that Bitcoin is a massive player on the crypto industry, regardless of how much you like other coins. Bitcoin is still the big player for a number of reasons. First of all, it has a market cap that is about 50% of the entire market cap of the crypto industry. So one trillion for Bitcoin and around two trillion for the entire crypto market. So any movement towards Bitcoin, which means a movement throughout the crypto industry. So that's a rule of thumb. So why exactly Bitcoin is moving then? Because this is causing such a massive crypto movement. So in case you haven't known it, there's a big news that actually happened a day ago that Tesla is no longer accepting Bitcoin over climate concerns. So we all know that a couple of weeks ago, about a month, Elon Musk came with the news that they will be accepting Bitcoin as a form of payment to buy Tesla products. And everyone was so excited. The entire crypto market was booming. Whereas now they're coming back with a tweet that they are no longer accepting Bitcoin. So first of all, just to make it clear. So they said they're no longer accepting Bitcoin as a form of payment for the electric vehicles. But at the end of the day, they're not selling their existing Bitcoin portfolio. So which means that it by no means changing Elon Musk's or Tesla's overall perception about Bitcoin, but rather they're focusing towards the climate concerns that Bitcoin is bringing to the world. So essentially we can look at this company, uh, at this uh, tweet right now that we can see that Elon Musk is saying that we're very concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal, which has the worst emissions of any fuel. So here on the second paragraph, they're saying that crypto, they're absolutely agreeing that cryptocurrency is a good idea and they do believe in the future of uh, it becoming as a future of payments. However, they are believing that this cannot come with a great cost to the environment, which I personally agree as well. And we all know that one of the reasons Tesla is successful is because they are actually fighting some of the environmental issues around pollution, air pollution, and some of the really big gas emissions that is caused by normal cars, whereas Tesla cars, electric cars are actually uh, known to be more environmentally friendly. So that totally makes sense that Tesla is focusing on environmental issues, which I personally agree on as well. So let's talk a little bit about, so entire crypto market going down, but what exactly happened to some of the other crypto like Cardano, who has been massively outperforming the entire market and we'll talk about why exactly it is happening. So Cardano is surging today to actually, if we go here to $1.92. So it's surpassing the about 10% uh, market down, market crash. But today they actually went up by 12%, which is actually absolutely opposite of the entire market. So they are outperforming the market. So let's discuss why exactly it's happening. So it's happening because Cardano is actually, Cardano blockchain is known to be a more environmentally uh, environmentally friendly blockchain out there, environmentally uh, uh, friendly crypto, because for a number of reasons that they are using less energy for its mining process, as well as it being a proof of stake type of uh, cryptocurrency rather than proof of work. So you would ask what exactly is proof of stake and what is proof of work? Proof of work is a, according to Google right now, is a type of the uh, type of the crypto that is requiring huge amounts of energy. Whereas for miners, 
to sell their cryptos in order to pay for those uh, for those energy bills. Whereas proof of stake gives mining power for the miners who own more uh, crypto of the same type. Meaning if you own more Ethereum, more uh, Cardano, you actually have a bigger mining power, which is actually incentivizing miners to hold more. Whereas the first one is actually incentivizing others to sell their cryptos in order to mine more crypto. So that is the two different uh, scenarios. And obviously proof of stake is proofing to uh, be more environmentally friendly because it is not consuming that much energy for its mining operations. So if you go back to this article by Forbes, we can see that here there are some uh, key facts that I want to uh, exactly point out right here. So here, for example, it says, thanks to a more energy efficient mechanism to verify transactions, Hoskinson has claimed Cardano uses just six gigawatt hours of energy annually, not even 0.01% of the 115 terawatt hours Bitcoin is estimated to use. So that is actually a massive difference in the amount of energy both are using. And obviously it's for the benefit of Cardano if we're looking for the uh, environmental sides of uh, one being more friendly than the other. So obviously there's a big, big focus around Cardano, which is actually causing the price to go up. And there's actually a, a tweet that was given by by the founder of uh, by the uh, by Charles Hoskinson, who is the Ethereum co-founder as well as uh, as well as Cardano founder. He responded to Musk's uh, tweet saying, "Are we finally going to have the Cardano conversation?" Which actually is becoming a very very interesting topic because now if Elon Musk is considering Cardano at some point. Cardano would actually have a really, really big, massive, I would say, uh, price movement, which is amazing. And in case if you're following uh, the channel, I've been actually talking about Cardano in a whole separate video right here where I was uh, talking about top three cryptos to buy in uh, 2021. And I actually gave a price target of six dollars by the uh, within a year for uh, for ADA, which is Cardano. And my price target was around six dollars for a reason of the previous historical growth and assuming that at least 10% of the historical growth happens, we are going to go to a $6 price target, which is very promising, right? Which is absolutely amazing, very promising that all this situation is happening. So another thing that we wanted to also talk about in this video is that Ethereum and other uh, another cryptocurrency, which is very, very popular as well, along with Bitcoin. and Ethereum actually came up with a news in case you haven't known they're going towards phase two Ethereum phase two, which is actually changing the mechanism from proof of work to proof of stake, which is also a great news. And uh, that could if changed to the uh, to the phase two, I think Ethereum also has a massive run towards that. And we also covered Ethereum as well within the couple of videos with a price target of at least $5,000 as a first milestone. So this was all for today. A couple of things to mention in this video. Don't forget to claim up to $250 worth of Bitcoin following the BlockFi link. Love you. Talk to you later.